At the beginning of the movie, we are shown Denika excitedly preparing for work as she chats with her boyfriend. Denika works in the marketing firm earning six figures and has been in a relationship with Charlie, a man she met online a year ago but has never seen in real life. In the next scene, we see her walk into a coffee shop where she meets the owner Frank, who gave her a cup of coffee for free and handed her a rose. At work, she meets with her friend Kali and they discuss her relationship with Shelly. Yeah, we get to know that Frank has been trying to go on a date with her but she's been declining. We then see them in a meeting with their colleagues. There, Denika is given the responsibility of spearheading the marketing campaign for a new fragrance line called The List. The success of this campaign will allow her to be the vice president of the agency. In the next scene, we see Denika and Kali in Denika's office where they talk about having the list of the qualities you want in the man. Denika's mom Lola called to inform her that her sister Taya has been recently paroled and will be released from prison soon. Her mother stated that she won't be able to accommodate Taya in her house, so Denika has to do it. Later that day, Denika went with Carly to pick up Taya from the prison. When they got there, they saw her having sex with the man she just met. On getting to Denika's house, Taya is amazed by the luxurious apartment. She then gets to know that Denika's boyfriend for six years, Bailey, left her for another woman. Taya went to her sister's clothes and wore the wedding gown hung in her wardrobe. This infuriated Denika and she screamed at her sister. This made Taya angry and she set up to beat Denika, but was stopped by Kali who explained that the gown was bought for Denika's wedding with Bailey. We also get to know that Charlie, who Denika has never met, works in an oil rig and he has refused to Skype with her stating he has a poor Wi-Fi connection. Taya suggested they seek the help of the reality show Catfish to verify if Charlie is real, but Kali objected to her suggestion. The next day, Taya and Denika reconciled and as they stepped out together to look for a job for Taya, they stopped at Frank's coffee shop to grab a cup of coffee. While there, Taya gave a useful suggestion to Frank on how to improve his coffee quality. She then stated she was a barista in prison. Frank, convinced that she would be useful to him, suggested that Tanya works at his coffee shop as a barista. Though Denika didn't like the idea, Frank managed to convince her to let Tanya work with him. As they worked together, Frank told Tanya he loves her sister and she encouraged him to press harder to get her since her supposed boyfriend might not be real. When Denika goes to pick up Tanya for work that night, she walked into an AA meeting that is being held in the store to which Tanya is present and overhears that Frank used to abuse alcohol. She also discovered he was in prison for 7 years. This sealed the deal for her as she has decided never to marry a man who has been to jail. The next day at work, Tanya who was fed up with her sister's online dating uses Frank's account to send a mail to the reality show Catfish. That day, Denika received the news that Charlie now has a good Wi-Fi connection and will face time later at night. Denika arrived at her home and saw the catfish crew present trying to confirm the real identity of Charlie. There, they found that Charlie is a man named Lawrence and he lives in the city. She insisted he was real and asked her to wait for a while as he would soon give her a call. They waited for hours but no call came in, so they left sympathizing with her for being played. Unable to accept the truth, she stayed up throughout the night expecting to prove them wrong the next day, but Charlie never called. Deeply hurt and embarrassed by the situation and blaming Tanya for ruining everything, Denika all insulted at her, which assessed Tanya so much that she decided to move out of her house and go to their mother's house, but she wasn't let in. Denika showed up to work tired and unprepared to present the campaign she's been working on, and this got her suspended. Tanya, who had nowhere to go, spent the night on the sidewalk close to Frank's coffee shop. When Frank saw her the next morning, he took her to Denika's house to get her things. Denika, on seeing him, ordered him out, which got Tanya infuriated. She suggested he scream at her sister to prove he can't be treated like that. But Frank, being a gentleman, refused, stating he can't raise his voice at a woman. With nowhere to go, Tanya came back to her sister's house and they mended a broken relationship. They then plan on how to get back at Charlie, who we now know to be Lawrence. In the next scene, Tanya, Denika, and Carly tracked down Lawrence, and when they got to his place, they saw he uses a wheelchair and has a jerry curl. He mocked Denika for believing his story and making so much effort to come see a man. As he went on mocking Denika and even suggesting they have the sex she badly needs right away, Tanya got infuriated and motioned to beat him up, but since Kali and Denika won't let her, she sets his hair on fire. The next day, Frank stopped by Denika's house to share her. They spent the day talking about their past relationship, where he told her the mistake he had made in the past and how the absence of his father affected him. Their little talk ended in them having sex. After the moment of passion, Denika now feeling weirded out by what just happened, asked him to leave her apartment. She then called Kali and tells her she just slept with Frank. She said that she doesn't find him attractive because of his criminal past, not realizing he's still in her apartment. Hurt by her words and opinions about him, Frank leaves feeling sad as he thought they had something going on. In the next scene, 
We see Carly calling Denika to help out with the marketing campaign at work. When she arrived at work, Carly and other of Denika's colleagues tried to come up with ideas but they couldn't impress their boss. But Denika saved the day by reciting the quote Frank said to her the day they spent time together. The quotes give a perfect description of the product and they excitedly went ahead with the marketing campaign. Now feeling guilty for hurting Frank's feeling and realizing she wants him in her life, Denika went to his coffee shop and apologized to him. They reconciled and we see them in the next scene, preparing to release some love hormones. With this, they started dating. We are then shown a montage of them spending quality time together. Three months later, Denika found that Charlie is real as he came by her office. It is then revealed that his account got hacked by Lawrence, his old college coach, and he was being honest about not having a Wi-Fi connection. He explained that there was a fire outbreak at the rig the day he planned to talk to her, and it cost him his phone and laptop. He told how he's been trying to get her content for those three months, calling every ads agency but with no success. This made her emotional as she was excited knowing she wasn't played. The arrival of Charlie caused a strain on her relationship with Frank, as Denika became cold and distant towards Frank. This led to him breaking up with her. To ensure she was making an informed decision about who to be with, Denika goes on a date with Charlie, and there, she realizes he isn't the one for her after all, as he went on talking about topics that don't interest her. With this, she goes on to win Frank back, but he wasn't willing to accept her apology. The marketing campaign she's been working on was successful and approved by the board, meaning she now has the chance of being the vice president of the agency. After many failed attempts to get Frank back in her life, she goes to his house but Frank refused to let her in, so she sings the song on bended knees in the rain, something he told her he once did to get a lady back and they reunite as a couple. In the closing scene, Tanya just for the fun of it crashes Bailey's wedding as a payback for hurting her sister. Subscribe for more videos like this. Leave a comment behind and pounce on the notification icon.